Welcome to another tutorial by Cronect. Today we're going to be dealing with animations from Mixamo. Mixamo is a service by Adobe that provides animations and characters free for commercial use. Check out the Mixamo FAQ for more information on licensing, link in the description. But let's get into it, how to use animations from Mixamo in Unity. First we need to select the correct character, the character we want to use. And we have to find a let's say the vanguard and now we need to make sure that he's in the t-pose so go up and search in the animations t-pose select it and it's going to be applied then click download format has to be fbx binary leave the rest the same and download the file save it into your unity folder and name it appropriately we need the tpos file because this is going to be used to create the Unity avatar file, which is going to be used by the other animations. Now we're going to pick out some other animations. Let's start with a running animation and just pick one you like. And usually I put them to be in place so I can control the movement. Download again, same FBX binary. Don't change it to FBX Unity. Save it into your project folder and name it appropriately. And now let's pick an idle animation so we can complete the set. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, this looks awkward. This looks better, a little bit more expressive, that looks the same. Okay, let's download it, same settings, FBX binary. Perfect. Name it. Okay, that's that with the animations from Xamo. Let's download the character to experiment on. I have this new pack from Cronect, it's called Military Units, and this contains three characters in. So I'm just going to open it in Unity, and we're going to move on from there. So it automatically opens the package manager, and it's importing the other files that we saved previously from the Mixamo site. And let's give it a second to refresh. And I'm just going to press download. And let's put this to the side and do some work on the animations. So pick the T-Pose animation and go to the Rig panel and under, under Animation Type pick Humanoid and then create from this model for the avatar. Now pick the other two animations and go to the Rig panel and press Humanoid but copy from other avatar. Pick the avatar we just created from the T-Pose and press apply. Remember, always create the avatar file from the t-pose file you downloaded or else it will come out mangled. Now let's change some settings in the animation files. First let's change the animation so we know to which character it refers. It might be idle but we want to know if it's the vanguard idle or some other idle we've created. Then change all the based upon uh, drop downs to original, enable all these bake into pose checkboxes and the loop checkbox. Remove animation compression and press apply. Same for the other animation. Change its name, Vanguard running in this case. Enable the checkboxes, switch to original and press apply. We do this in order to keep the animation as it was originally intended. We can change these later only if we need to. Great, just on time, our other package finished downloading. Let's check that out and import it. Give it a second. Okay, it's in. Let's check up on our own character, the one we downloaded from Xamo. Drag the Vanguard Tpos file into your scene. And let's create a new animator controller. Right click create in the project folder and then look for animator controller. Let's name it player. 
Now drag the animator controller into the controller slot on your model. Now open the animator window by going to Window Animation Animator and arrange it appropriately. Now you can drag and drop a motion file from the FBX files on the left. Now since we have two animations we want to use, let's convert that into a blend tree. Add the motion files to the new motion slots and these will be controlled by the value that's created automatically when we create a new blend tree. Let's rename that to, to speed. And you can see now that the animation changes based on the value of speed. That's cool, our character looks cool, but these all use the same uh, avatar and the same model, so what's the big deal? Let's go under prefabs, medieval, and find the warrior humanoid. Now this file is already set up by Chronic to be correctly a humanoid and it also has a couple of LODs. That looks cool, let's drag and drop it into the scene. I'm just going to disable the vanguard and I'm going to drag and drop our animator controller into the new character. Let me figure out, I'm going to switch the camera so we can see him from a closer view. Control shift F and then press play. And you can see since the value of speed is 1, it starts running, and the running isn't mangled, the feet are fine. And if I change the value, he will change the animation, it will blend correctly. And with that, the tutorial is concluded. You now know how to import Mixam animations into Unity and load them into other characters, correctly this time.